Dear Valley and your YouTube psychic. Card of the day. Readings. Unboxings. Your daily source for things arcane. Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Today what we're going to be doing is just basically taking a look at my life and you know how proud I am that I did eventually come out to my family. Um, most of them. And uh, how life has been uh, since. So that brings us to our current pet. Uh, Phoenix was a cat that belonged to a friend of mine um, who couldn't afford to take them to the vet um, because he got two cats. Um, Phoenix and Willow. However, um, Willow was sick. And we could tell she was sick. He couldn't afford to take her to the vet. Um, so he was like, here, you know, take them, take her to the vet, find out what's wrong with her, you know, get it fixed, you know, then rehome them. It's like, okay. So we took the two kittens, kept them away from everyone else in a crate, because God knows what it is. Um, took them to the vet the next day. Bilbo had FIV. Um, and a severe upper respiratory infection as well as a, an ulcer on her eye that bacteria was taking over and she was going to lose the eye. So, the vet recommended uh, um, euthanasia because with FIV it was unlikely she was going to recover from the upper respiratory infection, let alone the surgery of losing the eye. So, they euthanized her, they tested him for FIV, and said, you know, he's clear. However, he was in such close contact with this other kitten, you need to keep him away from everyone for three months and bring him back. Good lord, have you ever tried to keep a black cat away from anything for three months? It was a nightmare. <laughs> he was tearing up everything, flying everywhere. But three months passed, he was taken to the vet, checked for FIV, he was clear, so he could be or he could be introduced to Sefi and the dogs. So he was released through the house and we were supposed to foster him and um, rehome him after the tests um, and we made sure he was litter trained. And we made sure that, um, you know, he got over his upper respiratory infection. Because it was weird, because they both had an upper respiratory infection. However, um, Willow was the only one who had um, FIV. Um, that was almost 13 years ago. He is still here. Um, we took them to their... Um, yearly vet visit and found out that Phoenix has stomach cancer. Woo! So we're doing it again. Um, however, his quality of life is really well right now. Um, they said that the surgery to remove the cancer would um, only be a band-aid because it's super aggressive. It's only going to get worse. Um, what we're going to do, um, because we've worked with their vet, um, well, now their new vet, because the other vet closed during COVID, um, what they're going to do is we're just going to wait until his quality of life deteriorates to the point that um, he just needs to be put down or he decides himself that, um, you know, unless he dies of it on his own. Because um, Sefi went through it, Yzma went through it, although Yzma did have to be put down. Um, Angel went through it, Gabe decided when he was going to go, Sefi decided when she was going to go, um, so I figure you know, if he doesn't, because he's very stubborn, if he doesn't go when, you know, he wants to, then he will have to be euthanized. And unfortunately, um, I will probably have to go in with him. Um, 
you know, it's not unfortunate that I'll go with him. It's just, you know, we've had him for 13 years. Yeah, we were together for two years before we got him. Um, we've had him for so long, it's going to be incredibly difficult to say goodbye. <laughs> just like it was with uh, Sefi and Gabriel and Angel. But at this point, my husband now is like, screw it. We're not getting any more animals. Ever. However, we still have animals. Um, the next animal we got after Angel, or after Phoenix, was Lucian. Uh, Lucian is our full-blooded Shih Tzu. Now, um, he is a chocolate Shih Tzu, which is very rare. At the time, at least. So, Lucian is a ball of fire, nightmare, in hell. One of the best dogs with the best personalities you'll ever see. However, he will bite you. If you get to a certain point. Um, but, he's great. I love him to death. He seems to be fine. He sticks out his bottom teeth and um, growls when you stare at him. Um, but he's doing well. Last vet visit, we got our shots. We got our checkups. He's great. He needs to drop a few pounds. So he's no longer grazing on his bowl. Um, to the last pet that we... Well, not last, because we, we've got other pets that I will introduce you to. Um, to the last um, four-legged pet that we've gotten... And that is Miss Sona. Now, Lucian, his name is Lucian Alexander. This one, her name is Sonia Lynn. So that's S-O-N-J-A-L-Y-N-N-E. Now, Lucian is named after the werewolf in the Underworld series. And Sona here... Um, her name, S-O-N-J-A, is named after the female vampire character um, who is the lover of Lucian in the series. Well, not the series, the movies. Now, Sona here is a sh Shih Tzu Chihuahua mix. Um, her mother was mixed Chihuahua, while her father was basically full-bodied Shih Tzu. Um, she had several brothers and sisters. Of course, I'll put a picture of the puppies. They were itty-bitty. So, I was there for her, well, the day after her birth, because you tell me there are puppies, I'm going to come see them. Uh, because it was my sister's dog uh, that had the puppies. And um, instantly I was like, that's my dog. That's it. I want that. I want a female. I want this one. So, um, five months down the road, because my sister kept them an extra month just to make sure. Um... He brings them home. We had two because a friend of mine from work wanted a puppy. So we brought another one with us. And that one went to uh, the friend. And this one came to me. And she has been in my arms ever since. Now, Miss Thing just came back from the groomer Friday. So um, she looks great. She's had her hair did. I'll put a picture of her getting her hair done periodically in the um, video here. But Miss Sona here has very specific needs. Miss Sona is blind in her um, right eye uh, because she developed cataract. Um, she's only nine years old. Um, but she was fairly little when she developed this cataract, and they said, oh, it's not bothering her, it's not bothering her. You know, you don't have to have the surgery, you don't, 
she doesn't need surgery um, and then we had to switch to the vet and the vet was like well she's blind in this eye they were like you know you could do surgery which is about 8k girl we can't afford that although I would love to have Miss Singh with her uh, vision back but um, Sona here as you can see she has her Soresto collar on uh, Sona here is nine um, we got her the month that my dad died um, she is the best she just looks like a tiny Shih Tzu because she's got this curly tail and it's just huge <laughs> now um, when she's walking on her own of course she curls it up on her back and of course she's got this beautiful plumage that comes down the side there now Miss Sona here is overweight um, when we went to the vet she they told us for her annual checkup uh, a year ago they told us that she was 10 pounds she should weigh eight and under eight or under <clears throat> so of course she was put on a diet no more grazing um, she gets a quarter of a cup in the morning when we wake up she gets a quarter of a cup at night with a teaspoon of wet food and we have low calorie treats that we give them for you know at night um, we get one treat unless it is expensive treat day because Miss Thing here has issues with her back due to her weight. So she was, uh, she has both her knees are floating or floating patella and she has two deteriorating discs in her back here. Um, she does pain meds uh, after the uh, weight is gone and uh, she has more exercise um, she will uh, possibly be weaned off of the pain pills but we don't know it all depends on how she handles the weight loss she was 10 pounds a year ago she is 8.8 .8 now uh, so she and I both are on a diet basically well her I and Lucian now, Miss Thing also has another issue. So, we knew that her mother, um, who is named after Lady Gaga, that her mother was epileptic. None of her siblings were epileptic. Miss Thing here ended up epileptic. Doesn't matter to me, I love her no matter what. But, Miss Sona here is nine. Uh, again, I got her a month before my father passed away. And uh, she's just the best little thing ever. Um, very sassy. Um, uh, Sona ha Sonia Sona has very many nicknames. Um, but the one that's used the most is Miss Thing. Because of her sassy attitude. Now that is all of my pets, that's all of our babies. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below, do you have any pets that uh, you still have at the moment uh, that you love to pieces or that you treat like uh, royalty? Um, and um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my content and like this video. Want more? Feel free to order your own personal reading at www.tirthalian.com. That's T I R T H A L I O N.com. Don't forget to click the bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a video.